In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace your furnace switch with an outlet. I will also show you how to wire the furnace to a plug, that way if the power ever goes out, you will be able to unplug the furnace and plug it into a generator the same way you would a refrigerator. All you will need to do this is a new outlet, an outlet cover, and a pigtail. Which is basically an extension cord with the female side cut off and the wire stripped on the end. And if you have a 15 amp extension cord that you're not using laying around the house, you could just use that instead of buying a pigtail at a hardware store. You would simply cut one end of it off and make it look like this one. The first thing we're going to want to do is to make sure that the power to the furnace is off. Next, we're going to locate our furnace power switch and take the front cover off. Then I'm going to take out the two screws that are holding the switch in place. Pull out the switch, just about this much. And before we proceed, I like to verify and make sure that the power is indeed off. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so it is off, we can proceed. There's some electrical tape around the switch. We can go ahead and pull that off to expose our connections. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the two wires. and take my switch out. After the switch is out, we can proceed with disconnecting the rest of the wires. Next up, I like to disconnect the power wires coming into the furnace and just push them off to the side. Just like that. And let's pause what we're doing here and take a quick look inside of the furnace as well. Inside the furnace, we have a little junction box as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cover off just in case we're gonna be using this box too. Now what we need to do is find some kind of a hole, a knockout, or an outlet where we're going to be able to stick our pigtail through. I found one hole right here on the bottom, right beneath the junction box. This looks like a great spot to be able to put the cord through. So I think that's what I'm going to use. If your furnace doesn't have a convenient outlet like mine, it should have these knockouts that you could just punch out and use instead. Now I'm going to route my pigtail wires right through that hole on the bottom. Just like that. And then I'm going to have to route this cord into this box and from this box into this one. I was going to use this knockout on the bottom, but instead I decided to just go through this hole right in the back. And since it would probably be easier to route these wires back inside of here and do my connections here instead of putting this cord out there, I think I'm going to do that instead. These two wires are the wires coming from the furnace, the hot and the neutral. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those back in. I'm also going to take off this ground wire and put it on the inside. And now I'm simply going to connect the furnace wiring to the pigtail. White to white, black to black, and green to green. Now I can go ahead and pull out the slack. We don't need that much of the cord inside of here. I need to be able to put the cover back on with all these wires in here. That should be good. Okay, so now we got the furnace itself wired up to the plug. All that's left now is to put in the outlet. To begin with, I'm going to screw down the ground right over here. And some people say that the outlet needs to be grounded as well. I don't think that's necessary since this whole metal plate is connected to the box which is grounded. But if we have some electricians watching this and you disagree, please let us know why in the comments below. And finally, it's time to wire up the outlet itself. I have one of these that you have to push the wires in. So the hook that I have over here, that's not going to work. I think I'm just going to snip it off so I'm able to push that wire inside of here. I'm going to put the hot wire on the gold side and then the neutral wire on the silver side. It's always a good idea to give it a good tug 
to make sure that the wire is in there securely. And if nothing is coming out, we are good to go. And that's it for the wiring. Let's push this in and screw it down. So here's what our end result looks like. I have the furnace wired up to this cord, and then to run it normally, I simply plug the cord into the outlet, and if the power ever goes out, I unplug it and plug this into a generator. If the generator is far away, I can always plug this into an extension cord and route that outside. As for all the extra wire, you can simply drop that on the floor, or if you wanna make it look neat, you can zip tie it to a pipe or one of the cords. And that is all I had. But before you go, let me tell you something. A master electrician asked his apprentice, apprentice, name two types of transformers. The apprentice says, yes, sir. The two types of transformers are Decepticons and Autobots. And just in case someone didn't understand that one, let me tell you one more. What's another name for an electrician apprentice? A shock absorber.